Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a simple syrup. So we've got equal parts water and sugar. In this case, we've got a cup of water and a cup of sugar. And this is something, if you go to one of those, you know, really nice cocktail bars, um, and they have, you know, uh, they're doing more and more real fun, fancy drinks, um, coming up with more and more different cool ideas. Uh, the bartender's probably going to have some simple syrup around. And it, like I say, it's as easy as basically taking equal parts of sugar and water and then heating it together. And what that does is it dissolves the sugar into the water so you don't get that grit from the sugar when you're, if you just used, you know, cold water and sugar, you'd be able to taste the, the sugar, feel the uh, sugar granules uh, when you're drinking your drink. So this is, dissolves that together. And this is a real easy step. You can keep it in your refrigerator. Um, you know, in a container after you've made it. You can also buy it already at the store, but why not make it yourself? So I'm just going to let that come together and let that sugar devol dissolve, and I'm going to get it to work on the rest of this drink. So we've got some strawberries here, about a cup. So I'll do a few more of just cleaned sliced strawberries. How are you today, Anne? Groovy. She is groovy. She's been a long week for Anne. Mm -hmm. And I've got some fresh lemon juice I'm going to do. We need about a cup of lemon juice. So I want to make sure we don't get any seeds in here. Fresh, of course, is always best. When you're working with just a few simple ingredients, you're really going to taste the difference here. So Anne's already done the job for me and juiced a bunch of lemons. So thank you for that, Anne. Appreciate it. No Slice up a few more strawberries, and then we want to have some strawberries uh, to garnish this drink with. The in thing, and as I go out, and I love working with different chefs and mixologists and meeting people and learning from them, is adding some herbs into your summer drinks. So um, it may sound weird, but think about you know putting mint in iced tea. That's you know been happening forever. Um, so it's very much on trend right now, and I just I have simple syrup is boiling, so I want to bring it off the heat and let it cool for a minute. Uh, but anyway. Uh, more and more you're going to see herbs like maybe um, you know cilantro in in a cocktail uh, mint a lot of mint of course mint is in that that very famous drink the mojito and it really makes all the difference in the world to have that fresh mint muddled in there um, and we just recently did um, a drink recipe um, with one of the uh, mixologists at the american club in kohler and uh, he did fresh thyme and made a thyme collins instead of a tom collins, a little fresh thyme in there. So, you know, it's fun if you're going to be growing herbs anyway to try and put a little bit of these herbs into some of your summer drinks. They really, it really works and it's very much on trend. So that's where the basil comes into this lemonade and we'll get to that in just a minute. So uh, we've got our strawberries into our blender and I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of the lemon juice just because that's going to um, add the liquid to get these strawberries pureed real easily. We'll add the rest of the lemon juice in just a little bit. So we want to puree the strawberries. Pretty, pretty. Now, one thing that you, you don't have to do this, this is optional, but we're going to, is um, I'm going to use a sieve and just put this mixture through the sieve and it'll catch any of the bigger seeds. Just a little extra step, like I say, doesn't really bother me, but if you've got the time to do it, why not? I'll do it over the sink. It bothers you, Anne? Well, by all means, then we're gonna make sure that we strain these strawberries. And it's pretty easy to do. Just have one of those mesh strainers and there we go, see? No big deal. Okay, so now we're going to take the rest of that lemon juice, add it to our strawberry puree. We're going to do some uh, simple syrup. We don't want to do all of this. We want to do about a half of a cup. So let me get my measuring cup here. So we can use the rest of this simple syrup to make this another time. Again, this will keep in your fridge. No big deal. But this is a great way to uh, sweeten drinks without getting that sugary kind of grit in there. And that got a lot of lemon juice, so um, you can taste this too, and, and if it's you know not quite sweet enough for you, you can always add a little more simple syrup. Whoa, 
before I forget, my producer Abby wanted to remind everybody, uh, we've got another big night out coming up, and this is going to be a blast. We just are working on putting this one together, so check your calendars. Um, in June, we're going to be headed to Lambeau Field, great restaurant over there, Curly's, and uh, they have agreed to do a big night out for us. So uh, it's several courses paired with wines or beers. Uh, we're working on the menu right now, but it's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, a great way to kind of get a peek at Lambeau Field and um, try some of the best of the best that Curly's has to offer. So um, keep checking our website. We should have more information, the cost of it, and all that kind of stuff soon. So I'm excited about that one. That should be fun. Okay, now we're going to take some fresh basil, and we can just either garnish the glass with it, or we can throw or end both a few leaves right into the pitcher. Just kind of get those in there. And then we've got some fresh ice too. Now you can add water to this mixture or you can add it actually to um, the drink. So this is kind of how I do it. And this is the in new way to serve drinks. These ball canning jars are very much on trend right now um, for individual desserts, for dips, they have, you know, all different sizes. Um, they're just really fun. We've just, a little about a week or two ago, we showed you different ways and different recipes that you can do layer in these jars from fruit salads. We did a, a Southwest Mexican salad in here. Great for little mini like uh, cherry cheesecakes, lots of stuff you can do with them, but they're really fun to serve cocktails in. So we've got some fresh ice. And let me tell you, fresh ice is so important to have good clean ice when you're making a drink because you don't want to taste the rest of you know, it was in the freezer. So we're going to load this up with ice. And you can see how pretty these would look. If you get a bunch of them together out on a platter, out on your deck, or on your front porch. All right, so we'll load it up with ice. And we're going to take some of this strawberry puree mixture. I get that spoon back. I just want to get that basil really in there and give it a little bit of a nice basil flavor. And then, as I said, we'll garnish with basil as well. So then we're going to take a little of this mixture down in our glass. And if the basil leaf gets in there, that's great. gorgeous color. And then you can do regular water, but I really thought it would be fun to do a little sparkly, a little sparkling water for a little bubbly. So this is just sparkling water. And then we're going to garnish each of these with a pretty straw. Found these really fun straws. And then a lemon slice and some berries. And there you go. Strawberry basil lemonade. A little fresh basil in there. Super cute idea for summer. And we'll put the recipe for this on our website. Coming up, some more fun ideas for summer. Summer cocktail recipes and some summer um, appetizer recipes. And even a great summer entree to do on the grill. So stay with us. We'll be back.